Hey guys, what's up? It's Liam here and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Guys, I want to start um, this video off with um, kind of what I want to um, do on this channel now. I want to do um, some tutorials um, because I love photography and I know that um, some beginners, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not saying that I'm a good photographer, like I'm a great, amazing photographer. I'm saying that, yeah, I'm, I'm good at it. Um, and I want some, um, people to know that it's okay to make these mistakes um well I'm just looking at this that's better um it's okay to make these mistakes and um yeah and we're gonna go through the mistakes um that people are doing uh, and then we're gonna fix them with some presets this video is all about Lightroom presets um and yeah let's jump straight onto the laptop <laughs> right guys so we're now onto the laptop um, and as you guys can see, this is my raw folder. So I have two hard drives. Um, I have three technically. I have my desktop hard drive. I have my uh, one terabyte Lacey hard drive, which I use a lot. Um, and my desktop hard drive is just for like um, backup storage, um, the main storage. But I keep like all my big current and uh, my most favorite projects on my Lacey. Um, anyway, and all my photos. So let's see. So this is a photo that I took in Brisbane. Um, as you can see, I wasn't shooting in RAW back then. That's another, that's a big mistake that a lot of people do with DSLRs is that they don't shoot in RAW. They only shoot in JPEG. Um, so please change your settings, guys. The JPEG plus RAW makes it a hell of a lot better to edit photos. Um, as I have been seeing in all my photos so far so you can see here this is a CR2 photo um, this is CR2 means raw um, that's a really bad photo um, by Rafe but as you can see it is um, if we go here JP gives you a quicker look and then CR2 means it's the Canon raw file I mean it might be different for Sony and stuff like that I don't know anyway um, here are the photos um, and as you can see, if we look at the, this is the raw photo of this um, JPEG. This pops up. So as you can see, completely, oh, that's it. There you go. So it's it's different lighting. So the raw is supposed to give you more detail, uh, and it does. Um, so like if we click get info here, it should tell us, uh, yeah, exactly. The F stop number is four foot. F4, it was shot on a DS700D uh, um, focal length was 31 millimeters exposure manual while I was using uh, it's really good um, anyway so we're gonna test out some of these photos that I've got around arranged here there's a couple scattered everywhere so first of all I want to try and see what making one of these photos into um, using a preset would be like um, definitely want to put one of these on my Instagram for sure I I was in Brisbane during this time um, and every photo has a story really um, I was in Brisbane at the time and I saw a bike on like a sort of like vibrant orange subway station that looks amazing that says platform one I was like I need it um, so I took it uh, wasn't that bit of lighting because I was just skiing into manual then um, and yeah, so we're definitely going to be taking um, some of these. These are currently what have been going up on my Instagram. Um, hopefully that's not... Oh, that... You haven't seen that one. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's go into Lightroom. Now, what you, you will need is Adobe Lightroom um, to edit these photos. Um, Adobe Lightroom is amazing. It's worth... The subscription fee trust me um i pay for it it's amazing um adobe you you're so good at this anyway this is a photo i recently took on an airplane back from melbourne uh, from vidcon as you guys can see on my wrist man this thing is beating up dang um uh, anyway so as you can see we can literally change different presets all you need to do really is you go from your library you import the photos, click import, 
import the ones that you want, da da da. And then, as you guys can see, here's all my imports. 70 photos in total. Uh, not a lot, uh, but, you know, they still are cool. Anyway, uh, we're going to go straight on to... Actually, yeah, so we're going to... I think we'll just start fresh from a brand new photo. So let's go import. Right, anyway, so as you guys can see, this is the edited version of the photo. Um, really cool photo. I took of Rafe and the CBD. Um, so this is obviously the um, the raw photo that we took, the CR2 version. Um, it's very, um, I think it's overexposed. Um, a bit, um, the white balance was off for sure. Um, and the sky was just unnatural. Um, so we had that problem, but that's all good. Um, so we're gonna quickly jump into editing this photo. As you can see, I literally used one one filter. That was it. It's literally just using this thing called Soho. It's amazing. Um, guys, all these presets that I use will be in the description below. Please go check them out, they're amazing. Anyway, um, we're going to jump in. So as you guys can see, um, this photo is definitely off the white balance. So we're going to click the highest white balance ever um, using the dropper tool. Obviously, that's just completely changed it. Like, look. It actually looks like the normal version, sort of. Um... Um, as you guys can see here, um, these are some presets from the Pierre McKinnon preset pack. It's like 15 bucks. It's really good for the amount of photos that I take, especially. Um, there's also some from Ryan Angle, the Brandon, uh, I can never say his name, um, but it's a really good style for neon, um, especially in these photos that I took with Rafe. Um, they're amazing for neon, um, and also in here, we use them as well. Um, so this was like, imagine, okay, hang on, let me, let me try and find it. So yeah, as you can see, it's definitely different to what we have edited to, um, and that's just, completely with clicking one preset. Um, it's amazing. Um, it's just that neat handy trick. You can create your own, uh, which I will be doing. Um, and yeah, um, and you can make presets for specific photos. Um, so this red crush is mainly for things red in the background. So if I go over to this photo, for instance, and click Red Crush, you'll see the red pops out in these photos. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys did learn something from this. Um, I sure did when um, finding out that presets were a thing. <laughs> um, and yeah, all around, it's such a great feature in Lightroom. Uh, you can do them in Photoshop, Final Cut as a LUT, um, Premiere Pro as a LUT. They're amazing. Um, go check out all the links in the description to download some free ones, but also um, uh, to buy some. Uh, and I definitely, definitely highly um, rec uh, recommend the Peter McKinnon one. That's all the time we have, guys, for this week. Um, I'll be doing a live stream uh, maybe in the weekend um, on to Monday. Um, school holidays are coming up, so there will be a lot more stuff coming out more higher quality because you know time constraints you know, I've just had exams um, so yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy and you learned something and I'll see you guys next week on YouTube peace